Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. Okay, so I know that I look real crazy. Today has been a crazy day. I told myself to get up at six or seven and film while all the kids were sleeping. Needless to say, that didn't happen. And so I am here at 3 p.m. trying to hurry up and film before we gotta go to the gym. So, fun for me. Um, I'm gonna film and probably take all this makeup off so we can go to the gym. But what we're going to be getting into today, we are going to be getting into just some new makeup products that I bought. We're just gonna be playing with the makeup and whatnot. And so I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys what I bought first. And so the first thing I did buy was this CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation. And I got this one in the shade Nude Beige, but I think, yeah, it's a little bit too light for me. So what I'm gonna go in and do is mix just a little bit of my ABH foundation into it. And then a couple of other things. If you saw my BoxyCharm unboxing, you know that I got this marbled light blush and this brow bar that we're going to be trying today for our brows. As well as a couple of other things. I did go ahead and grab a CoverGirl Ex Exhibitionist mascara and I got mine in the shade Very Black. Um, I hear that this is a lot of, or a lot of people say that this is their favorite mascara, so I just thought that I would go ahead and try it. That's just what the wand looks like. It looks like every other wand that's coming out with mascaras ever since the Better Than Sex mascara. Okay, and then I did go ahead and pick up two of these Pro Fusion Lip Duos, and I got one in the shade Imagine and one in the shade Charm, so a more mauve nude and then a more orangey nude, nudie color. And then, you guys, I placed this order. On Cyber Monday, Physicians Formula had 50% off of everything. So they took 50% off your entire total. I wanted the foundation, the lip pout kit, and then I got the Casey Holmes um, collaboration. I got one of their eyeshadow palettes, and then I got their little trio with like the blush, highlighter, and bronzer. Now the things that I, the two things, well, I was really excited for three things because I really, really wanted the Casey Holmes thing, and I got that. But the two things that they really wanted, that I really wanted, they didn't send me. All they did was send a little slip in with my package, circled the item, and was like, "A refund has been credited to your account." And I was like, "Whoa, well, geez! Like it already took you two weeks to ship me my package. I never received any updates. You didn't even let me know that these products weren't in stock. And if they weren't in stock, why did you let me buy them?" And so yeah, it was pretty frustrating to deal directly with Physicians Formula. I think I'll just stick to ordering off of Ulta and whatnot. So the first thing that I got, like I said, was this, this Butter Collection uh, palette and it comes with the highlighter, the blush, and the bronzer. And I believe that this bronzer is in the shade bronzer. Yeah, this one is in the shade of bronzer, which is the one that I already have in the big thing. I actually won't be using this at all. I, this one smells better than my single one. Yeah, so I won't actually won't be using this today at all. Um, I'm just showing it to you guys because I'll be using that blush. Um, well, actually, I can use the highlighter out of there. And then I did go ahead and pick up the the Tropical Days eyeshadow palette. And I got this one because in the Casey Holmes collaboration, it just looks like... Um, the other palette that they have just looks similar to what comes in the Casey Holmes collaboration. So I didn't think it was necessary to buy the one that came with the green when the Casey Holmes one has a green. Oh my gosh, I can't get this open. For this much, you would think it would at least come with like a normal little brush, but so yeah, this is the eyeshadow palette, what it looks like. Really pretty. Everything of course smells really good. And then, Pretty sure you all have seen the Casey Holmes collection. It is, comes with the blush and the shade. It, the bronzer shade is deep, the, the deep bronzer. The butter blush copper cabana. Oh, I could open this and show you guys. Okay, so deep bronzer, copper cabana, highlighters in just peachy. And then this lipstick is in the shade pop the bubbly. And then Butter in Paradise, that's the shade of this. And then these are the eyeshadows. And the shade is Do Not Disturb, No Filter, Tropic Like It's Hot, and then Palms, Palms. And so yeah, we can go ahead. 
I'm not gonna use the eyeshadows in here because I think I'm gonna try out this bronzer and then we can try the highlight in this one. If this, we'll, we'll just play with both highlights, but yeah. So I'm gonna take everything out of its packaging so it's easier and then I will get right back to you guys. Okay, so now that everything is out of the package, we're gonna go ahead and go in and prime our face. So I'm going to be using this Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm. All right, then the next primer as always that I'm gonna go in with is my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. Okay, and so for brows, um, we have this brow bar by, can't read this, but it's called the True Glam Brow Makeover Kit and I have mine in the shade medium. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my CoverGirl brow pencil and I have this one in the shade Soft Brown and I'm just gonna go ahead and outline my brows. So outlining is done. And then the next shade I'm gonna go in with is, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try this one and start filling that in with the little brush that it comes with. brush it out just a little bit okay and then just because it comes with this let's go ahead and act or act like let's go ahead and clean up our brows I'm assuming that that's what this side is for oh well that's a lot creamier than I thought it would be Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this concealer brush and just start blending that out. This is something that I never really do is go in and clean them up. That's really not bad. So I can't complain about the brows. I think they look pretty good. They might be a little bit dark. I probably could have used the lighter brown, but I don't know if maybe she did, but whenever I watched Kathleen White's unboxing and she did her brows, like it was really, really red and I was scared that mine was gonna be really, really red. But then again, I don't know what shade, ooh, I don't know what shade she had and I have the shade medium and it matched me just fine. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead, go in and prime our eyelids. I'm gonna use that same concealer brush. Okay, so now we are gonna go ahead, actually first, let's go ahead and, I'm all over the place. <laughs> let's go in with our Physicians Formula Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm gonna go in with, this one's called Barefoot in Brazil. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyelids with that. next shade I want to take is heat or the next shade I want to take is heat wave and that's going to be this one right here and I'm just going to put that into my crease Ugh, see that's why I wanted to do that first I meant to put my elf eye tapes on to get that nice sharp edge <laughs> oh, I'm so funny Okay, now we're gonna take heat wave and start blending that into our crease. Ooh. Ooh, that's pig way more pigmented than I expected it to be. Maybe I should have gone in with the one that I was thinking of at first, but there's no turning back now.
Okay, so it actually ended up blending out really pretty. Uh, let me check something really fast. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the Casey Holmes one and I'm gonna go in with no filter. It's just a smidge darker than Heat Wave. And I'm gonna put that, you guys know what I'm gonna do, put it a little bit lower in my crease. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in with my finger and I'm gonna take this shade right here called Ready for Rio and I'm gonna put it right in this area. This um, shimmer eyeshadow is not the best, at least not with my finger. Let me try it with this little applicator deal because it's just like, Okay, that one, um, I don't know what's wrong with this shade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go in with this one, which is called Sightseeing. Okay, I'm done with this palette. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this one and just start trying to get that shimmer out of my crease. Okay, I actually did go in with this just to prime my lips and it actually feels really good on the lips. It is a little bit metallic. So this is definitely just something I'd use as a chapstick, not like as a lipstick or anything. But what I was wanting to do is go in with the highlighter in this palette. And this one is called just beachy this one actually has like actual literal glitter in it and it's more gold than the one that comes in the other palette so i'm just going to take this on the same applicator and put this on the inner corner well not the inner corner but like the inner half of my eyelid and then we're just going to blend those two together starting right there you see how much glitter that has in it so i might be using the other highlighter on my cheek because I'm not a fan of glitter on the face. Okay, I feel like all my looks lately have been looking exactly the same. That's okay. Okay, and now that we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and take off these little, oh, I'm getting dizzy, eye tapes. Okay, and I'm going in with my CoverGirl Last Exhibitionist Mascara. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my lashes that I got off of AliExpress. And I'm gonna take this pair right here because I gotta clean these. But these were actually, I believe I got this whole pack for like 10 cents because they were having a sale. And so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and measure these, cut them and apply those. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm, bla I'm, I'm black, <laughs> I'm back, lashes are on. So now we can go ahead and get into the face. What I'm gonna do, I forgot to spray that, but let me spray it real quick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pump of this. Oh, I love when cover that CoverGirl's packaging like this does that. So I'm gonna take a whole pump. Well, it's just, it's just a tad too dark and too light. And then I'm gonna take a pump of this. And then we'll go ahead and just mix it on the back of my hand. And just start, whoa, that almost made a perfect shade. So now we're gonna go ahead and go in with our elf sponge and start blending that in. I think I might have to do it again. Do another pump of each. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and go in with my Ulta concealer and over these breakout spots right here, go ahead and cover those up. Okay, 
like I said, I am going to go ahead and need one more pump of each, or let's just try this. I mean, like, but we have bronzer. For whatever reason, my forehead is not like getting any coverage. Probably because I keep using up all the foundation on my cheeks. Like something is drying super fast. I mean, it's not my best look, but it's definitely not my worst. Please excuse my hair, I will fix it. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go in with our CoverGirl concealer. Okay guys, so I did go ahead and go in with concealer and powder. The concealer I used was the same CoverGirl concealer and I have mine in the same Golden Natural. And then I went in with my Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. And this isn't really a color, it just, I guess it's just like their standard one. Um, I'm not sure. And I just set wherever I put concealer, so right here and down the center of my face. And I left the rest alone because the rest feels like it actually set down pretty nice without the powder. So now we're gonna go ahead and go back in to our, um, finish up the eyes. I'm just gonna take the brush that we used the shade Heat Wave on, and then we're gonna go ahead and just run air all the excess powder underneath that lower lash line. Next, taking this brush that we used, I don't remember what the shade name was. I'm gonna take the brush that we use no, no filter on and do the same thing. And then going back in with the CoverGirl mascara, we're gonna coat the lower lashes. Okay, so, I mean, this mascara is, it's not, I like my Voluminous Carbon Black better still. It's not anything amazing. But we can go ahead and get, in, get on with the rest of the face. So for bronzer, we're going to go ahead and go in with this bronzer right here, which is the Butter Bronzer in the shade Deep. And we will just start bronzing our face with this. I haven't... Ooh. This one has a lot more fallout than my original one that comes like the single packaging. Ooh, that is a lot deeper. I got it a lot deeper. I usually have to build the shade of bronzer up quite a bit. This one, I don't have to build up as like at all. You get what you're looking for first application. And I'm tapping off excess. Let me know what you guys think of this lighting because I actually have a blanket hook hanging over the window so that way all my lighting is coming from one direction. Let me know how you like it. Okay. So we got a little bit messy with the bronzer. So let's go ahead and go on with our wet and wild powder and just clean that up a bit. So anyways, so while we let that bake, I did go ahead and clean up my space just a little bit. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Ciate London blush, and this is in Marbled Light, and I have mine in the shade Dusk. So, uh, I'm gonna use a clean brush so that way we can get see what it's really looking like. So I'm gonna use my Ulta, Cheek, Ulta Beauty Cheek brush. Um, they still have this brush, only it's with black bristles now, and I really like it, so. This is really pretty. Ooh, build, builds up suddenly though. Like all of a sudden, you have on just 
too much. You got just too much going on. So since we're going ahead and cleaning up, let's go ahead and dust off that bake. That bake didn't make my face feel tight. Like, I don't know what I baked with the last time, but it made my face feel really tight. I think I baked with the Hydra Mist. That powder didn't make me feel tight or anything. Ugh, getting a little bit crusty and clingy right here. So I think I'm gonna have to use a little bit of dewy mist. Just blend that out, cause that's a lot with that really, really um, blushy blush with that deep bronzer. It's just, it's a whole lot. Like I think I'm gonna have to take some bronzer just down my neck, cause I'm just, that's a lot. I'm not used to that. Okay, now for highlight, we are gonna go ahead and play with this one because we haven't yet really at all. So for highlight, I'm gonna go in with this one and this one's in the shade Tropical Sands. I don't think I've ever used this brush for anything. This is an e.l.f. blush, what? How is this a blush brush? A blush brush. How is this a blush brush e.l.f. like? So anyways, going in with Tropical Sands. Oh, that's pretty. It's a little bit light. So we're gonna have to go in with the glitter one because that's a little light. So let's go ahead and try out just beachy right here. I'm gonna go in ever so slightly. Don't know if I'm a fan of Physicians Formula highlighters because I feel like there's a whole lot of glitter. Like now that I blended it out, like it's okay, but now I feel like I also have specks of glitter everywhere. Okay, so for lips, we're gonna go ahead and take the shade Charm right here. And this is actually a dupe for Lolita 2 by Kat Von D. If you've been wanting that, I believe that these ran for about four bucks each, $3.99. This is a strange applicator. <laughs> Okay, so last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and take this little uh, brow gel right here and just set the brows. This is really, 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 really brown. I don't know if you can see that. And the wand is really big, so. Let's try to do something. I'm gonna go try to do something with this hair and I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is the completed look. Let's go ahead and do a little rundown on everything that I tried that was new. This foundation, I really like it. It's gonna be another one of those foundations where I don't have to set my whole face and I can just go ahead and go in with all my powders. You can see how beautifully they blended without me actually setting this. And I think if I didn't, if I could find my right shade, like, like it would be perfect. And the shade is not, the shade is not the, 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 the shade is not the foundation's fault. It's my fault for picking the wrong shade. So I actually really, really like this. You almost forgot to set my face. Okay, so I actually really, really like that foundation. Okay, next, okay, we can talk about all of this, all of this stuff that comes in the shiny packaging that gets all dirty. Okay, so now let's talk about this little brow bar deal. Like I said, I, like I said, I have mine in the shade medium. The little brush just fell out. But actually, this I used this and this. This was actually a lot more creamier than I expected it to be, and it blended out really, really easy. This powder is really good. Now the only this is a good setting gel. Like I can feel that my brows are in place. It's a tinted gel. But I was looking in the bathroom lighting and it did add um, a more reddish tint than just the powder by itself. So I would have to be very, very light handed with this or not use the powder and this together. Something has my lips tingling. Okay, so now let's talk about this little lip combo. This is really good. It is kiss proof, this outlining that you see. So the actual liquid lipstick is kiss proof, but not the lip liner because all you can see is the lining of my lips. And it's really good. Um, like I said, this shade in Charm is actually a dupe for Lolita 2 by Kat Von D. So yeah, I would recommend those. Like I said, they're $3.99. 
maybe $4.99. You can find that at Target and Walmart. Okay, now let's talk about this eyeshadow palette. I have no complaints with this shade, this shade, or this shade. But for whatever reason, this shade like immediately got hard pan and it was like giving off like no pigmentation. Not sure why. Okay, this one, I haven't played with any of these Physician Formula blushes, but I will let you know as soon as I do. You guys already know I love this bronzer. This highlight, like I said, was a little bit too light, but there's just something about Physician's Formula's highlighter, as well as in the, this one. It's, they just, they're just more glittery than anything. Um, now that I've set my face and I've let it sit, it has lost some of the glitter, but not all of it. This shade was really easy to blend out and work with as well. I feel like everything is kind of really, truly the same formula, except for that one eyeshadow that I showed you that I played with. And then last but not least, the last new thing that we tried out, this marbled blush. This got intense real fast. Like I was building it up and then it was like all of a sudden, I had like clown cheeks. Like what? And so like, it wasn't really fun, so. Yeah, be careful with this, but it is pretty. I do have like an overall glow to my cheeks, which I believe is from a combination of this blush and those highlighters. And so, okay, you guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look. These pins, I also got, these hair pins, I also got on AliExpress. I will try to link everything that I get off of AliExpress down below because it's really cheap because I believe I paid a dollar for both of these. So, yeah, I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you like what you see and you would like to stick around with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.